Welcome to the 2400 Block Podcast with your host, Johnny Rubes. Podcast spin, intelligence binge watch. Johnny Rubes with the wisdom, never botch. Dark thoughts, Fenelay, Hindi Creek. Philippines represent. Like Griffin College. Clever minds unite, discussions land tight. Sync up thoughts, intertwine, never bark, trite. Mics up, lights down, we the crew of rounds. Johnny Rubes know the truth. The friend Johnny Rubes. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Well, not just an episode, but it is an unofficial episode here on my Facebook profile. This is Johnny Rubes here. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we're just going to talk a couple of things. I mean, the last episode I talked about was mainly about politics, and politics is usually not my thing. Uh, that's actually one of the least uh, of the topics that I would like to talk about on my podcast. I've been mainly talking about mental awareness, uh, self-improvement, and even just talking with guests on a one-on-one -on -one interview. And uh, yeah, that's that's fun. That's fun to do. And uh, that's uh, that's what it's been so far for my podcast. Basically, I've been interviewing people left and right. Some are like, uh, you know, super famous. Some of them. They're out there, too. I mean, definitely uh, count them in. But, uh, yeah, I just want to talk about something here on the unofficial episode here today. It is August 28th. It is after 3 p.m. over here in Chicago. And we've been encountering a little bit of some uh, interesting weather here so far. Yesterday, it topped about 100 degrees. It was so hot, so uncomfortable. I came out, like, around 4 p.m to take out my girlfriend's nephew to the park. He was unaffected, although he was sweating profusely, but yet he was still, uh, you know, active and, and just dynamic. I wish I can say the same for myself. The moment I stepped out, I too was sweating profusely. I mean, just so much sweat coming out. It felt like I was in a sauna and sauna. And by the time I came back, it felt like I lost, maybe 10 or 15 pounds. I, I really felt light, although I was kind of wet. My bald head was looking like Michael Jordan playing in the NBA Finals, not going to a Game 7. So I still think about him to this very day, one of the greatest athletes of our time. Actually, I, don't, I just don't think he is uh, the GOAT. Uh, to me, he transcends basketball. He is more than that. So, I mean. Numbers, statistics, that's one thing. That's what LeBron James is right now. So he's doing a fairly good job at uh, being a record holder at present. So, uh, yes, it's good to know that King James is doing his thing. And, uh, yeah, he's going at it. I, I believe he's 39 now. He's about to turn 40 real soon. And he's still making waves at his age. Not too many NBA stars could do that nowadays. So I definitely salute him for for that and for the rest of his teammates in the USA basketball as they won uh, gold. And hopefully, he is hoping, and some of the NBA fans are hoping, that he's going to team up with Steph Curry. Because they, they have some chemistry going on uh, leading up to winning a gold medal over there in Paris. So, yeah, that's amazing. Okay, guys, once again, welcome to another unofficial episode here uh, of the 2400 Block Podcast. This is Johnny Rubes talking to you on the mic. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's another thing I want to talk about, but uh, I know it, 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 it's dealing with politics again, and I've been seeing it on TV, and it's got to me. I'm not going to make any judgments about it, but it just turns out that uh, Miss Harris just needs to show up on TV. I mean, she is going to, but under certain conditions, she is definitely gonna, definitely not uh, gonna do it live, and she is gonna be accompanied with her vice presidential candidate Tim Walz. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's good that she's finally going out there, being in front of TV as planned. We'll see what happens. Uh, can't really say for sure if she will, but that's just what I've heard so far, that she's going to show up on 
TV to do an interview. It's been uh, a few days and she hasn't uh, taken up the effort to speak to news reporters, whom, by the way, are very uh, loyal to her. I know the honeymoon phase has ended and now it's time for both uh, parties to do their campaigning and she needs to be in front of the camera uh, more to, you know, to boost up her, her campaign more often. The more exposure, the better. And uh, that's what she needs right now. I, I can't say for sure now if she's having cold feet. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I can only just base an assumption here. Uh, she could be, you know, very nervous. I've seen some of her footage in which she's trying to make, you know, things uh, with a, a lot of sense using her own words on something. And sometimes it just goes aloof. Uh, and then sometimes it just feels like it's a, a repetitive structure as she's talking. So hopefully she'll improve. Uh, I can't say she will, but well, she has to anyways, because she is running for president of the United States for the Democratic Party. And I will just leave it there, folks. Hope I know that the Democratic Party got something going on. They have their own plans. And as for uh, Trump in the Republican Party, he's no stranger to all the hate. He's pretty much just doing strong campaigning, answering questions when it's needed. We know that he's known for his bullish and sometimes insinuating remarks. but. He is what he is. He's brave enough to go out there and just, you know, build up his reputation. And when the debate comes in about, let's see, I'm not even going to count. September 10th is supposed to be their debate. So we'll, we'll see how that turns out. And it's going to be on ABC. So I don't think President, or shall we say, former President Trump uh, is going to get treated well. I mean, I'm just making an assumption right now that he just may not be treated uh, fairly than uh, Ms. Harris. Ms. Harris, of course, uh, is a darling to the media. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing with my two eyes right now and what I hear with my ears. And I'll, I'll put that aside for now. Politics is politics. They'll work it out somehow. Both parties going to be uh, going strong up until election day where it all matters where we put our votes we cast our votes and seeing which candidate is the right one okay so we'll leave it at that hopefully you guys are enjoying your afternoon it's wednesday it's hump day hoping you guys are surviving the week living out your adventure and being with loved ones and if you're away from loved ones you must be having a great adventure somewhere out there and as for me I'm just over here taking the time right now as I am home, as I'm here. I just want to take the time to talk to you while I'm at home. It's a way for me to connect and uh, get some communication flow going. This is why I open uh, myself with this unofficial episode. It's a, it's a way for me to, to channel my thoughts and to even channel your thoughts if you, if you care to leave any comments whatsoever. And, and right now, as I'm looking, I just want to make sure if anyone's leaving anything, anything is possible. Let me take a look over here. Okay, so I see some people have already been liking this post as it's happening right now. Okay, guys, I probably will only have a few minutes to do this unofficial podcast episode. The reason why is because I have to uh, step out uh, later on whenever I get this notification on my phone. That means that I have to be ready. Let me go take a look at it right now as I'm, as I'm over here with you guys. So look at this. I have a text message from Kamala and Tim. Yes, Kamala and Tim. I'm just going to read it as it is here, okay? And, and I'll even show you the image, all right? So here it is. There's the image, okay? And I'm, and I'm going to read it to you guys. They just sent me a text message like, a couple of minutes ago, and I'm going to read it out loud. Hi, John Eric. It's Kamala and Tim. If you're up for it, we'd love to meet you and snap a picture like this one. By chipping in today, you could get your own 
your, I mean, you could get your very own selfie with us. Not only that, but your donation will ensure we have the resources we need at a crucial stage of this race. It's a win-win. So what do you say, John Eric? Use this link, and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to meet us. And they provide me a link. Hope to see you soon, Kamala and Tim. Now, I do have the option to, to uh, text back, stop to quit, but I won't. Uh, I'll just let this thing uh, keep going. I have yet to hear from the the Trump campaign for for them to send any text messages. I haven't gotten any text messages from the Trump camp or uh, from his vice presidential pick, J.D. Vance. Come on, guys, step up. Send me a text. Okay, back to the news at hand. Okay, guys, have you ever played with artificial intelligence? Like, you just want to check it out, give it a try, and see how you would look like when you are computer-generated. And I would like to share some of the images with you, or shall we say, all of the images with you that I've made uh, of myself. Well, I did not make it. I requested artificial intelligence to make you know these likenesses of myself, and you be the judge. Uh, you check it out for yourself if you think that if any of those look like me, you be the judge. We're going to look at it together, all right? So this is going to be uh, a really cool for the next few minutes before I head out, which I know I will. I'm just waiting for that indication. No, uh, no notification yet. Okay, all right. So we're going to have some fun right now. And we're going to be taking, t taking a look at some images. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to try to do screen share. This is like something, uh, something really cool. I mean, imagining, imagining myself in, in AI form. Okay. Give me a second here. I want to make sure that I get to choose the right window. There's so much windows open right now on my computer. So I'm trying to use a specific one to share alongside me talking to you right now. So you'll eventually see a split screen. All right. So here we go. All right. Hold on. I want to make sure that. Okay. Split screen time. Time for you guys to take a look here. I don't know if split screen is going to work as a final product, but uh, I'll talk about it right now as, uh, as we're going with this podcast. So there may not be a split screen as I'm talking to you. You just may, you just may see the entire image itself. So, uh, yeah. Let me see if this thing goes. Let me see if I can expand this frame. Okay. All right, guys. I'm not sure if this is... I don't know how you guys see it on your end, but here I am in AI form. So I'm going to take a look at myself on the camera. And uh, there's the AI version of myself. I have used him... Uh, I have used him on my podcast cover art. So part of him was used for the cover art. So that's me. It looks like me. And as I am turning my head, there is likeness, definite likeness. I mean, he definitely got the the black and white stubble there that I'm having right now at present. And the same goes for his mustache. And I definitely got that too. And it definitely looks like me, right? I think of all the computer generated AI work here, that one definitely looks like me the most. So here we are. I'm putting this picture out. That is definitely me. I mean, he really looks like me. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on to the next photo here. Uh, hopefully, it will go on to the next one. I have to probably take it off. I can. All right, hold on. Oh, he's gone. He's gone, but hopefully, we'll get him back. We'll get another one back on here. Give me one second as I go into another share mode here. Give me one second. This will take a little bit of a while. 
Okay. There is another AI version of myself. Look at him. Look at me. It looks like this version of me uh, is from the, the not too far future. I mean, he's got like, I don't know if that's paint or is that blood on his forehead? Can't really say for sure. Definitely rocking the glasses. I don't even have those specific type of eyewear. He has on like a cool outfit. I'm nowhere close to having an outfit like that. I'm, I'm like, I'm fascinated actually. What kind of, what kind of hoodie is he wearing? Or I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Looking at myself, guys. Can you believe that? For this uh, unofficial podcast episode, I'm just going over my AI pictures. That one uh, is also having that same likeness at me as me. And when you look at it very closely, I notice he has a little bit of some creases right here. Look at it very closely, guys, if you're looking at the image. I don't have that. I don't have that at all. So that part there is uh, questionable. But as far as the the goatee, little stubble hair there, definitely looks like me. The nose definitely looks like me. The head structure definitely looks like me. Even the eyebrows definitely looks like me. So yeah, I'm not I'm not disappointed with that either. And from how that looks, it looks like I'm 25 pounds lighter. Yeah. I look like I'm 25 pounds lighter. Okay, so that shot's gone now. Let's go on to the next one here. Okay, give me one second. We have to go through this process over again because it just keeps closing. Wow. Yeah, another computer-generated artwork. AI doing its thing. Trying to... Make that look like me. So what do you guys think? If you're looking at me and you're looking at that, what do you guys think? Do you think that looks like me? I just want to give my honest assessment here as I'm looking right at this picture. Or shall we say this artwork? He has a really cool backpack. I mean, it, it, he definitely, it definitely looks really cool. It looks like he's about to jump off to some, you know, Get off the parachute. I mean, get off, you know, you know what I mean? Skydiving. My goodness. <laughs> get off the parachute. How did I how did I come up with that? Get off the parachute. All right. So that's me. Or shall we say a likeness of me. The glasses is definitely almost looking like the glasses I'm wearing right now. The smile is definitely there. I do smile like that. Sometimes with my with my teeth. Let me let me try it right now. Okay, I, I, I'm there. I'm I'm getting there. Okay, guys, we're just going raw right now as we're just as I'm just talking to you about my AI pictures. That's the special treat for today's unofficial podcast episode. Okay, I'm looking at myself. Furthermore, that the head is definitely there. I don't, I don't have too much uh, lines here on my forehead. I, I'm just like my dad. Uh, we're up there definitely in age, but we, we barely have uh, lines on our head. I mean, what you see right now in me is just like maybe a, a, a couple of detailed looking dots. But as far as that uh, is concerned, the artwork. Um, he has lines on his forehead. I don't have that. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's get more in detail here as I'm looking in, into this picture. His eyes seem to be like very closer to the nose. That's what I do not have. So that's the contradiction over there. Uh, I disagree with the, with the way it's, uh, looking. I wish it could have spaced out the eyes a little bit more. Okay. 
All right, gone is that picture. I'm going to go on to the next one. So, guys, if you are watching right now, I am basically just sharing my screen, and I just want to show the AI version of myself. Okay, here we go, another one. This is a monochromatic artwork here. Wow. That, uh, that definitely looks like me there. For sure. It's got the, uh, the stubble hair. The mustache, it's black and white. And I'm not just saying it's a black and white artwork, but it's also having the black and white details like what I have here. So. Look, he's looking great. He's uh, button all the way to the top there. And he, too, looked like he's uh, maybe, you know, 20 to 25 pounds lighter than me right now. I mean, I'm on I'm getting there right now. I'm I'm in the process of losing more weight. I've been cutting back on my rice. I only eat rice like maybe one or two times out of the week. And I uh, eat more of quinoa. So. Yeah, I eat more quinoa, and I've lost uh, maybe three pounds, four pounds. I, I, I think so. And if you guys are tuning in right now, you're probably wondering, what is that beside me right now in this split image? It's computer-generated uh, artwork, AI doing its best to make the artwork look just like me. So uh, if, if I was as famous as Pitbull, maybe I would look just like that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to go on to the next photo. Give me a second here. Again, it takes a, a couple of steps to to just show some, show something. Get rid of that. Get to show this. Okay. All right. Another AI artwork featuring yours truly's likeness. Okay, he's uh he's looking great. He's looking like me. Definitely looking like me. Again, I question uh the thing right here. I don't have that. Uh he looks a little bit rugged. <laughs> to me that is. I mean, the AI version of me looks rugged. I mean, I don't have that. See, I'm smiling right now. I don't I don't have that. I mean, I don't have the creases right here. Okay, so that's the only thing that I can differentiate as far as everything is concerned. Uh, definitely looks like me. The head shape looks just like me. The the eyebrows look just like me. The way I smile, uh, I think that's a little bit of a smile there. I don't really say it's a super smile, but that's a little bit of a smile. It looks like me uh, in, to that regard. So uh, let's uh, move on to the next photo, or should we say artwork? Okay, so again, I'm going through all these steps to get the picture. I'm sorry, guys, if it has to go in that way. It's just a, it's just a process that I'm trying to go with. Okay. All right, there you go. Another, another AI computer-generated art. That, uh, that looks weird. Look at the glasses. That looks weird. It looks like it's broken where my eye meets. And even my eyeballs is is going along with the brokenness of that eyeglasses. That's weird. And and I don't even think I smile like that. Nah. The outfit looks really cool. I think so. Yeah, the outfit looks really cool. I can't say for sure if this uh this uh likeness of me has bald head or not can't really say for sure i do love you know again i do love his outfit i'd love to have something like that maybe i'd like to just wear it for a day see what i can you know see what i think of it seeing if i want to keep it or not yeah but yeah it looks uh looks kind of weird although i do like the outfit Okay, so we're going to move on to the next photo. Or shall we say artwork? I keep saying photo. Okay, we're going to we're going to move on to this one now. All right. 
Check me out. I look like I just graduated off of college or something, huh? Yeah. He uh almost looks like me in some ways. Looks like I lost 25, maybe 30 pounds there. I mean, I looked... I was as skinny as this dude when I was uh, graduating from high school back in 1992. Yeah, I was really uh, so slim. And when this shirt came out way back in 1990-91, this shirt was actually loose on me. And now look at it. It, It's so many years later now. Can you believe this shirt is like 30 years plus old? (laughs) It's that old of a shirt. I've only wear it a few times. I say it's about maybe 15 times now that I've worn this shirt. And um, it was a lot looser back then, but now it, it fits snugly on my present body frame. And it just seems like it's absolutely <laughs> fitted on me right now. But going back to that artwork, take a look at it. I had I had glasses almost similar to that. Not exactly the same pair of glasses, but I've had glasses that were that had big lens. Big lens just like that. But I didn't have a bald head back then. I had a full head of hair and I do miss that. Yeah, I um he definitely looks like me. Retains the 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 stubble hair and uh and the mustache. Uh, the eyes, oh, it, it just looks too darling. I don't know. It just looks too darling. I think, I think if, 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 if the beautiful ladies out there take a look at this guy, oh, they'll fall in love with him. But I don't have those eyes. I don't, and I don't even have the lines on his forehead. So there are some inaccuracies. But as I say again, if I've lost. 20 or 30 pounds, I definitely would look closer to that. But that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So we're going to move on to the next one. We'll see where this one goes next. It's fun doing this AI stuff. All right, check that out. I look like somebody from Star Trek or something. Okay, looking at this uh, image uh, featuring my likeness, uh, he definitely has um, he has weight there on his cheeks. Now, if I've continued eating uh, food uh, like crazy, maybe I would end up looking like that on my cheeks. And I have at some point in my life. Um, I'm glad that, you know, I've learned how to control that, controlling my appetite. All right, looking at him, he looks like, an ambassador, doesn't he? He looks like he represents some nation. My the nose is definitely messed up. Look at the nose on that. It it looks so. It looks so uneven. It, it's 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 really that bad. He must have hit something. I don't know. He must have bumped his nose onto something. Maybe he bumped into a pole. I don't know. Uh, I'm glad that the likeness is there with the mustache and the. Stubble hair once again on my uh on the bottom of my chin. Yeah, it's definitely retaining the look. I look so uh distinguished. I don't even know what kind of nation I would represent. What country I would represent. Let's look into the sunglasses. Wow, I can even see the eyes on this guy. Look at the eyes on that guy. Looks kind of uh eerie. Yeah. The eyes are are very telling. Mmm, look like he's got some uh, hideous agenda. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next one. I got about ooh, still got some more here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I got eight more to go. Guys, got to do this real quick. I know that time is running out. Time is of the essence, and I have to be out very shortly. But this is not bad so far for an episode, just showing you all my, all the AI shots that I've collected of myself that I told this app what to do, and it pops out all these different ones of myself. 
So uh, we're going to go on to the next one. Take a look at this. Guys, bear in mind, sorry for the delay. Every time I try to go on a picture, it requires a, it requires a process, like a one, two, three step process. All right, here we go. Definitely has the, the darling eyes once again. I definitely don't have big eyes like that. Maybe I'm uh, underestimating myself. Maybe the way it's captured here on the camera shows it differently. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have to look at myself in the mirror. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is another uh, rendering. Definitely has my head shape intact. No lines in the forehead. They got that part right. And the mustache is definitely there. The goatee is definitely there. The cheeks, they got right. Everything proportionately is right. And tell you what, I might even keep this uh, for, a, uh, for a profile picture. Uh, as far as the lips is concerned, I see, I see it has a little bit of a crack there in the middle. I don't have that right now. <laughs> Maybe I will in the future someday. And I'm surprised it doesn't have that the crack that I have right now on my bottom lip. That's where it should have been. Uh, some of these computer-generated shots are, are very uh, captivating, to say the least. I mean, it's just amazing like how much it retains the, the, uh, the likeness of myself there. All right, going to move on to the next one. It's going to get really interesting, folks, as I'm uh, moving on to the next one. All right, look at that. Again, eyes is the thing. This the eyes are just too big. It, it like again, you know, as I say again, it's it's too darling. It looks too I don't know. Can never see myself that way. And look at my lips. I don't know. I never had teeth looking lips like that. It looks weird. And, of course, the stubble, the mustache, definitely on point with that. Same with the eyebrows. Everything is proportionately there. The glasses look awesome. I never had those kind of glasses, by the way. And the head shape. Everything's there. The cheeks is definitely matching up to how I look. All right. Again, look at the eyes. I don't have those kind of eyes. That would be uh, definitely a darling if I had those eyes, but I don't. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. Ah, man, one, two, three, four. Oh, got six more to go. Might have to rush on this. So thank you guys for, for being a part of today's uh, podcast here as I'm moving on from one pick to the next. Just had to bear in mind this with this one, two, three step process. It usually takes long for it to show up. Okay, there I am again. What do you guys think? Is that looking more like me there? It definitely has that that smile. Definitely has that quality of a smile. And my eyes are not as uh you know not as big as the previous ones. The eyes seem to be uh definitely there. Eyebrows definitely there. I see some, you know, lines on my forehead once again. I barely have that in real life. But I guess when you have the spotlight shining on me like that, maybe it will show. Maybe I do have lines on my forehead, but I just don't see it just yet. Okay, I'm trying to get this light to where my forehead is right now. I'm looking at myself, and I don't see... Any lines? Either that or I need a new prescription. I don't know. Okay, so I say that guy looks more like me. So I can say that and the very first and second picture that I've shown so far look more like me. So I'm pleased with those three so far. Okay, moving on. Glad you guys are patient enough to go through this with me. Oh, check that out. Again, the darling eyes, I do not have. 
his um, the lips it looks strange. It looks like teeth lips. I definitely don't have teeth looking lips. The spotlight's pretty good though on me. Now, as far as the gray underneath the glasses, I, I kind of question that as to why it's looking, um, you know, grayish below my eye. Could it be the glasses effect? I don't know. But the head shape, the mustache and the stubble definitely is there. It's on point. Same thing with the forehead shape. The way I would usually smile, it's definitely there. So yeah, that's that that's a good one. Um but I'm I'm still not gonna put that on my top three. Got four more to go, folks. Four more to go. And we can end this. Okay. All right, look at that. Now I don't know what's on top of his forehead. That could be like some sort of symbol. Again, he looks like an ambassador. The smile is definitely there. But the thing about these AI renderings, I question it a lot, is the the lips and the teeth. Again, this is teeth lips. It's hard to even determine what is the teeth and what is the lip because it's all there is one. All right. So uh, as I've emphasized uh, on a couple of pictures uh, you know, before, you see that there are lines right there. I don't have that, so I definitely, uh, that's a that's a takeaway for me. Uh, again, it has the, the darling eyes, and it's, uh, I wonder why his eyes are, like, standing out like that when it's supposed to be uh, sunglasses. Yeah, the, the, the eye's supposed to be tinted, and it got that wrong. Head shape is definitely there. The mustache and the goatee is definitely there. The head is proportionate. So uh, I don't really say this will crack the top three or like the bottom five. I don't know. Okay, on to the next one. Got three more to go, guys. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for checking it out as I'm doing these computer-generated images of myself. Okay, here we go on to the next uh, one. I'm glad we're finally closing this out. Sometimes it it just looks a little bit too embarrassing to look. Oh, wow. I look like an astronaut in this shot. I, I look like I'm just too excited to go to space. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. He look like he's uh he's ready to go back to Earth. Alright, head shape is there. My smile once again has teeth lips. It's just it just it just can't seem to differentiate between my teeth and my lips. Uh I see the I got some eye bags on this one. Look at that. Check out the eye bags on the on the bottom of my eye there. My goodness. Looks like he needs a lot more sleep. I look like I've aged like maybe five or six years in this one. And there's a mark right here. As you can see. Not sure where he what what he's been through. Again, he has the creases right here. I don't have that. I don't have the creases. But yeah, that's uh me it's an astronaut. Okay, moving on to the next one. I think there were some other photos, but for some reason they didn't show up here. I'm just going with what I have right now. And I got two more to go, and I'll wrap it up. Uh, two more to go. Again, thank you guys enough for your patience. It takes a little bit of a while to get these showing. All right, there I am. Once again, as an astronaut. And I look younger here. Maybe that previous picture, he's been through so many missions now. He's aged, but he's still smiling. I see they got rid of my stubble hair there. Like, I, it's basically gone. It retains the mustache. It has a more youthful look compared to the previous picture. The other one had, like, you know, big eye bags underneath the eye. But here, 
looks like a younger version of myself. Look at that. I mean, that, the one thing I like about that look here is that it retains more, most of how I remembered of myself. Without the glasses, of course. Now, I'm not sure if that is the head shape. Kind of hard to tell if if that is the head shape or not. I'm actually just going to point right now or if that's if that's the head shape or not. So I think that's the thing is covering most of my head shape. Because I don't think that's it. I mean, if that's the head shape itself, that's like the smallest head I ever had in a computer-generated artwork. And we've got one more, guys. One more. Thank goodness. Thanks, guys, for being so extra patient. And um, it's another one of me, again, as a astronaut. Last one, okay? Last one. There you go. What do you guys think? Again, it's having problems with the with the lips and teeth. Again, they're putting it together. Teeth lips is definitely intact. Again, I have no creases, but I do in that picture. Uh, the eye bags is definitely present. It looks like my eye uh, on on the on the right side of the painting there uh, looks like he's been through. A, you look like he has a sty or something. I don't know. He's little, He's been through something. But yet he's re- remaining very enthusiastic. You know, check out my gear. That looks so cool. Maybe I'll be part of the space, uh, whatever we call it, the Space Force. Okay, I'm going to end it there. So there you have it, guys. That was my... Um, collection of computer generated ai artwork and uh it did its thing and that's what it came out to be and if you guys just missed out on seeing my collection of the computer generated ai stuff just uh, feel free to play it back thank you guys again for being a part of this episode i know there's there's just so much of that that i said that i decided to show you today uh, I wish I could put more into this episode, but I guess I'll end it for from here. It was fun while it lasted, and I hope to do more again real soon. I want to make this a regular thing, maybe like every week. I find this fun to do. That is it. We have completed this unofficial podcast episode. Thanks, everyone, for checking it out, and I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Till next time. Thanks for checking out this episode of 2400 Block Podcast. Don't forget to follow and subscribe.